Hello, thank you for your interest in Wayne Combustion's MSR oil burner. Today we will review a number of adjustments that can be made to the burner. Please note that these adjustments should only be made by a trained technician. Nozzle and Electrode Assembly Nozzle Removal Tools Required Flathead Screwdriver 3 quarter inch wrench 5 8 inch wrench and a small scale or weighing gun assembly setting gauge, T gauge. With the gun assembly out of the burner housing, loosen the two slotted screws on the electrode support. Then rotate and slide the electrode assemblies back out of the way. Using the 3 quarter inch wrench on the nozzle adapter and a 5 8 inch wrench on the nozzle, loosen the nozzle by turning the nozzle counterclockwise. Remove the nozzle from the nozzle adapter. Note the specifications stamped into the hex flats of the nozzle being removed. Flow rate in GPH, spray angle in degrees, and a spray pattern type, letter or letters, should be noted. Replace the nozzle with one having identical specifications. Discard the nozzle. Do not attempt to clean and reuse a nozzle. Nozzle Installation Examine the face surface of the nozzle adapter for nicks or scratches. Replace the nozzle adapter if defects are noted. Tip: Do not touch the new nozzle's filter or touch the face of the nozzle. Oil from your fingers on either surface can adversely affect nozzle performance. Screw the new nozzle into the nozzle adapter clockwise until snug. Then tighten with the 3 quarter inch and 5 8 inch wrenches. Slide the two electrode assemblies back through the electrode support, making sure the brass bus bars are on top and the electrode stem tips point toward each other. With the electrode stem tips positioned approximately 5 16 of an inch in front of the nozzle face and the bus bars on top, Tighten the clamp screws securely enough to hold the electrode assemblies in place. Using the small scale or T gauge, adjust each electrode stem tip to its proper setting. Secure the clamp screw. Take care not to over tighten the screw as you may crack or break the ceramic insulators. The gun assembly should now be ready to reinstall into the burner housing. 